Hi, it's Brenda. Since somebody has claimed my robe, it used to be mine, but now, as with the rest of my life, it belongs to her. But I thought I would uh, do a little something thing. Hi, welcome to my channel, My New Me, where you get to watch as I try to make sense out of the chaos that has become my life and my home. How lucky are you? So in the sorting videos, I showed where I was putting all of my planners, binders, all of that back here. And it was working out okay for a while. However, I was always using them here on my desk and they ended up being piled up beside my computer and never going back to the ledge. So the ones that I use all the time, I started putting here. And it's working out better, much better. So these I tend to use every single day often multiple times a day and since people seem to enjoy my last planner videos about a year and a half ish ago yeah I thought I would just go over them I am working on the next videos but it's becoming more than I thought it would it's it's really not that much I just my ability to function is becoming less than I thought it would be We've had a lot of rain, which affects my breathing, which affects my movement, which affects my thinking, and my ability to function at all in any way. It's taken me a lot longer than I thought, and it actually is a lot, a lot of little things. So I'm splitting them up. Some of it I'm just re-recording because it's two minutes in this clip and three minutes in that clip, and it's just easier to re-record it and then take them all out of the clips, merge them all into one clip, and blah, blah, blah. So... I'm going to show you my binders and my planners and my journals and all that happy crap. Until this past Christmas, this was my planner. That was a gift from a friend. And then this past Christmas, that same friend gave me this one. Which, you know, I mean purple. So, of course, it's going to work better when it's purple. Everything does, right? I think my goal in life is to uh, have everything I own be purple before I die. I'm getting there. <laughs> But this one is just, it's smaller. Let's see if I can get it where you can. It's smaller, so the planner fits in my purse better, fits in my tote bag that I take better. And it's the same size as my journal, which I've also changed. This is my journal. So, this was a gift for Christmas from the same friend that gave me this one, which I didn't want her to give me a gift for Christmas. She's done so much for us already, and you know who you are, but, and I, I get it, I'm the same way. We gave her gifts for Christmas, and so, of course, she needed to reciprocate, and I understand. But now the old journal has become our budget. So this is our budget where we both know where to grab what we need. We know what to look when we aren't sure what we're going to, you know, what we need to spend on whatever, what bills are coming due out of the next pay. We both know to look in here. And we sit down about once a month and go over the next few pays, see if we're still on track. And, you know, if he pays something, he can he knows to grab this, write down the date and the amount. If I pay something, I grab it, write down the date and the amount. And it's a pretty little butterfly girl planner. Josh doesn't care. It doesn't bother him at all. But I also think somebody coming in, they aren't going to look at that and say, oh, hey, budget. <laughs> you know, they're going to think girly stuff. So I put it on the internet for almost 30,000 people to see. But it keeps it all in one place. And it makes it easier for us. So and it's a little bit bigger. It's it's big enough for the budget. It was really too big to fit in my purse. And I needed a planner to take to doctor's appointments and stuff that would fit in my purse. And this one works perfectly. This was a, I don't know where I got this, but it's, it looks kind of orangey on the camera, but it's actually rose gold. And I'm really liking the rose gold on this purple. And then in the front, I have, these are little, Little sewing scissors that were in when we put mom in a nursing home and cleaned out her apartment. 
I took her sewing kit and these were in her sewing kit. And this is one of those Ollie clips, those really strong mag magnetic clips that I'm not going to be able to get off of there. But it holds the scissors in place, which is really nice. This is a paper clip, obviously. But when we had to go somewhere, we shopping lists, etc., I put it on there. Or, you know, you have to go somewhere and per person with a bill or something, I clip it here. This was the front of a card sent to me oh, in the beginning, I think. Our first first YouTube Christmas from one of you folks. And I really liked it. I thought it was really pretty. So I cut off the front and on the back I put some mailing labels and I have all of my medical information there. I have a list of all my medications, uh, doctor's names, different procedures, you know, cautions, allergies, all of that I have written on the back of this. And everywhere I go I take the planner with me so someone will have access to it. This is just a white kitty clip that is keeping the, the other side of the rose gold thing on here. And this is a change purse that when I was going and take going shopping, I would put my cash and money in this to, or like the debit card if that's what I would take. But it was um, a certain brand and I kind of painted it with nail polish and gems and kind of made it my own. And it fits down in there perfectly. And then in the front, this is a list of all the videos I've made since the very first one. And it is uh, 107 videos total since my first video. But And then it just has the monthly, I have the, uh, let's put it a blank one, monthly spread and then the two page weekly spreads behind it and keep it and then I have addresses that I made because I take my journal with me everywhere I go I have oh, I forgot to show you this this has uh, post-its in it um, just one of those little plastic pockets I put post-its in it and because I take my journal everywhere I go I have an emergency stash my emergency preps we have stamps there, and behind this, I have dark chocolate and Tylenol and ibuprofen. I randomly get migraines. Usually, I can stop them if I do this right away. I, th they're weird. I get, I know that a migraine is coming when I can smell either skunk or fuel oil, which is, you know, like um, oil for the furnace. It's like an overwhelming smell to me, you know, enough to almost make my eyes water and nobody else can smell it. And then I know, you know, we know that that means migraine. And actually my pulmonologist suggested this. Um, take the minute I smell that and know that nobody else smells it and it's coming on, I take two ibuprofen, three hours later, two Tylenol, three hours later, two ibuprofen and eat dark chocolate in between. And it works. If I can catch it right in the beginning, I have not had a migraine since I started doing this. Like I said, if I can catch it. So I've started carrying it with me. I've got enough here to get me through nine hours. <laughs> and, you know, chocolate. We all need chocolate. But I always have my, uh, my planner with me when I go anywhere. So, and then in the back, some, just a couple of, these are a couple of rulers. This is a paper clip that I keep important things that I need to keep with me. Um, pretty little, is that pretty? Uh, whatever it's called. It's not focusing. Fountain pen. I love that color. And in here I keep extra um, debit card, things like that. So that is my planner and I live by this. I write Everything that happens, I write everything I need to keep track of, things I need to remember, and then appointments. And I you know, tend to color code it. And I love it. It's absolutely perfect. And it's a great size. So these pens I have in this, this is like an eyeglass case. But these are pens I use most often 
when I'm writing daily in my books. In my planner, I color code things, so these are the different colors of things that I use. In our budget planner, we color code things if there was an issue with something or we're waiting to hear back from someone because there was a problem, we color code it. And these I keep, I keep this right here. And then throughout the day, I, you know, something happened. You look, say the landlord called and said, oh, the, I need to do some plumbing. The water will be turned off on this day at these times. You know, I'll take the red pen and write it in, the, write it in my planner so that I know. But it's quick and easy to grab with all of it right here. And because I do write in this frequently throughout the day, it makes it really easy to have it right here at my elbow because I spend most of my time on my computer. And I can just grab it right in it and put it right back there. This is my journal. Whoa, those are my drunken books. Stay. Josh got this for me for Christmas. And I absolutely love it. It's small, it's easy to carry with me. The last time I told you guys about my planners and journals, I showed you I had this one, the big purple one, and it was working good, but it's just very, it's very large. You know, it didn't fit in my purse, it didn't fit with, it didn't fit with everything else. Tally, it, Addie knocked it off the ledge onto the floor, Tally scratched on it, did the, like the claw thing and scratched on it, so I tried to hide it, or it's dig marks. She made the design, I put the colors on there, and I think it actually looks worse. But I still like it, it's still pretty purple. But it's, um, it was my journal, and I think it's going to be, become my RV notes thing. I've been putting notes of everything I come across with the RV. I've been writing them on paper and putting them in here. And for RV life, videos, places, repair places, things like that. I've been typing it up and I think as soon as I get new ink for my printer, I'm going to print it off, cut it out and put them in here and have this be the RV notebook. It'll be smaller, you know, sturdier, easier to take care of. I switched into this because Josh got me this for Christmas this year and it's purple. It came with the leaf on there. A friend gave me this little purple sparkly charm thing and I added that to it and, and ties. It came with all brown paper. It came with this type of brown paper. The whole thing but to write for the journal I, li I like lined paper but I was able to buy a pack of lined paper from I think Walmart. They were 80 sheets to a pack and it came with six packs and it was like eight dollars so I still have one or two full packs that I haven't even used yet. And it has post-its in it. This is a, a friend took apart a cell phone case she had and gave me this. And I thought, you know, I can make something out of it on here. Something to hold something in. I don't know what yet. So I just stuck it there. Eventually I'll decide. And then I have more emergency preps in here. More chocolate and Tylenol and ibuprofen. So then in the back I have my, you know, and then I just write in it. And this is what I write with. This is one of those zipper pockets. And the case fits in here perfectly. When I was in the hotel apartment, I made this case. This is a, an Altoids tin. Altoid, Altoid, Altoids tin. It's kind of blurry. But I kind of just, I painted it with a snail polish and marker. Painted the whole thing, it has stickers on it. Um, much of this stuff came, I cut out of cards that you folks sent, and then just some gems on it, and then put actually the coating I have on it, the shininess to, to protect everything. It's just clear nail polish because that's all I had then. But a friend gave me my, my fountain pen, friend gave me this eye drop pen, and it fits in here perfectly. It holds a ton of ink. It unscrews, you screw the lid on, and it's a nice length to write with. But I really like the, the feel of the, when you're writing, the, it's got like that perfect balance of scratchiness and not scratchiness. I love the color of this ink. She also gave me this ink when she gave it to me. 
beautiful ink. And it's been about two and a half years now that I've had this and I've gone through oh, about two thirds of it maybe. Maybe three quarters. But I write in it all the time. All day, every day. And it's great for on the go. These are tiny bottles. I have extra ink in this. Well, it's called an eyedropper pen because you use an eyedropper to fill it. So I've got these tiny bottles filled with ink. And then it has, you have to put the silicone grease around the threads when you fill it. So I have Q-tips in the lid. The little Q-tip pocket is also came from cards that you guys sent. So, but this, what I have in this little Altoid tin, with as much as I write, this will last me a good month to a month and a half with my writing. And I really only use this for my journal, but I, I don't know, something about the, the color of the, well, let me find a page. The color of the ink on the paper, and it's in short and but the color of the ink on the paper, the feel of the nib as it, you know, glides across the, it's just very soothing to me. And I, I write in my journal all the time. I mean, now this puts a lump, but when I'm, it doesn't matter if I'm not writing, when I am writing, it makes it nice and flat, and I have this out because I'm using it when I'm writing. So, it doesn't bother me to write on this. And there's enough stuff in between where I'm writing and the candy bar that that doesn't bother me either. So, but I just find it very, I don't know, almost zen. And this, it's held up good. It's been in my purse. It's been in my, my hospital bag. I mean, I, I was, it was like when I first moved into the hotel apartment that I made this. And it's just really surprising me how well it's held up. And it fits in here perfectly. And this journal with my planner fit in my purse fine with my wallet. And it all fits perfectly fine with journal, my planner. I usually take my glasses inside the case. And they all fit inside my purse perfect. This purse is, uh, it's purple. Yes, I know. Everything I own is purple. The eyeglass case isn't. That's brown, but they, they came with the glasses five years ago, four years ago. But this thing was, I, I bought it, I think, in 2010 or 2011. And you can see how it's been washed many times and it's getting those pills on the inside. It was 25 cents at Dollar General when I bought it all those years ago. It was when I first moved to New York State, and the purse I had been using at the time, uh, the, the strap <clears throat> broke. I was going into Dollar General. I was not moved into the new place yet. Going to Dollar General to get some cleaning stuff and boxes, and the strap broke. And fell in a mud puddle and dumped. and. So when I was in there, they were having like a 90% off and then another 50% off at the register or something. But I saw this and just grabbed it as a, you know, to tide me over till I find what I like purse. It was 25 cents. <laughs> <coughs> it's been through the washer many times. It's been dropped in mud puddles. It's had cats sleeping on it and in it. It's wrinkled, but it works out. I mean, it's held up really good. Like I said, the inside's looking a little rough, but... Hey, it works. And it'll hold my planner, my my journal, my glasses, my wallet, which is already in there. It just, I don't know, I guess it goes to show you, good things don't always have to cost an arm and a leg. So, but these will all fit perfectly in there. And they go here. But I write in my journal on and off all day, too. When I sit down to rest from what I'm, whatever I'm doing or just a thought pops in my head, I'll pull it out, open it up, and write in it. Or often, it stays, often it stays like, you can see me, I got the 
forgetting how to adjust the camera. Often, it ends up staying like this. It ends up staying like this with my pen here. I write in it, put it like this, put it like this, and I end up putting it over there. And then it's next time I pull it out and write in it. And then usually when I'm at the end of the day, I know I'm done writing for a while, then I'll put it back. But it's, it's easy to grab. Easy to grab, easy to put away. Everything I need is there. This is just like a, a plastic envelope thing. I'm not even really sure where it came from. I have an extra pack of paper in there, extra grid paper from my address book section of my planner, and I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to put, I do use stickers and labels and all that planner stuff when I'm doing my monthly spreads in my planner, and I'm going to put the ones I use most often in here. In the meantime, I showed you this one as at the hazmat house. In the meantime, they're all still in here. I still have all the stickers and labels and all of that stuff in here. And I keep it back on the ledge. It's this giant gold binder. So I keep that back on the ledge and it's easy for me to grab. But I think the ones that I use most often, I'm going to put some in this so that if I'm not here, I can easily have everything with me. This is a something. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a, a tablet cover or something. But in here I keep the pens and stuff that I use when I'm setting up my monthly spreads. So um, glue sticks, I keep glue pens, glue sticks, the markers, the fine point things, the different colored pens that I use most often when I'm doing that. And I mean this I don't use all the time, I use it when I start working on my monthly spreads. This is my Kindle. This has lasted such a long time. Uh, 12 years ago. No. 2012, sorry. In 2012, I switched positions at work where I was no longer on the go all night long, but sitting more often. And as a congrats on the new job, um, my son bought me this Kindle, so and I bought the case to go with it back then, but it keeps my headphones in it. My headphones fit in the pocket perfectly. I don't really read the books, but I listen to them, and this thing has lasted, not 2012, was it 2010? I don't know, it's 10 years old, 12 years old, something like that. There's a 12 somewhere. It has something to do with a 12 somewhere, <laughs> but... The only thing, like, when I first got it, the battery lasted, like, 16 hours now, only lasts 12 hours, but honestly, that's plenty long enough. But it, I take this with me when I go places, too. Like, if I have to, you know, hospital visit, I'll take this, and rather than watch TV, I read books on here. And it's, you know, I like it because it's the same size as everything else. Makes it really nice. This is my health tracker. I showed you this one. Those are what I use all the time. This is a traveler's notebook that I'm using for something. I just haven't, I just started using it, and I'm not sure I'm going to keep using it. Now, to be honest, I haven't decided if I'm going to share it yet or not. But these I use every day, generally multiple times a day. And they come in very handy, and it is easier, and it stays neater keeping them on this tray, rather than back here. And these, these are my stickers and labels, which I already showed you. That's the budget. This is my memory book that I showed you in a previous video. This is, that's something I started doing and stopped doing. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then this is my old journal, which is going to become RB Notes. And this one is a little binder that I haven't done anything with yet. And then I have this. It is a tool bag. It is a purple tool bag. I have things inside. Oh, these are a pack of highlighters Josh got me for my birthday. The good thing about this setup is all of these will fit down in this tool bag. And I can take it with me. 
when I go somewhere. And I haven't really set it up yet with all the stuff I would want in it. Scissors and all of that. But it also has... You go right there. It has this little thing on the front. Which I did have some things in this. I have colored pencils in this. To put tools and different things in. All of these books with my Kindle. I can listen to them while I'm doing things in my... I bent it. While I'm doing things in my... Uh, you know, in my journals, it has an outside pocket, which actually my cell phone could go right in there. But when we're in the RV, I'm not going to spend all day every day in it. And if there's a pool, I'm going to go hang out there. If there is a creek side or a lake side or something, I'll take the chair down there. And all of my use all the time books will fit right in here. And actually even the big gold one that has all this planner stickers and stuff will also fit in here in this bag and I could just take this bag and use a carab carabiner clip or something carabiner carabiner a clip I hang it from the stroller handle or something and take Addie with me and we'll find a nice peaceful spot to sit or even if I just sit under the awning outside the RV it'll be easier to carry everything inside this makes it easy easy to access easy to keep with me and easy easy to use and well I guess even more importantly it makes it easy to keep neat that's a that's probably a better way to say that makes it much easier to keep it neat my health tracker my health tracker I mean I usually use this only when I wake up isn't it pretty it's still so pretty but I started using this in the hazmat house. It's about right there. So it's about three quarters of the way through. When it gets full, I honestly think I want to get another black one just like this. And I'm going to take these off and put them on the black one. Because I just, I don't know. I pull that out and see that. And it just is pretty. And I like it. It makes me happy to see it. After I wake up, I pull it out. Anytime I experience any symptoms, a change in symptoms, I pull it out. Or if I haven't really experienced anything throughout the day, then I pull it out at the end of the day. Usually, the boy leaves at 11 to go to work, so usually after he goes to work, I'll pull it out and update it for that day. And it just has been very, very handy. So A lot of times if I'm sitting here doing journaling or puttering or doing some type of crafting, I do listen to my Kindle. I might watch a movie on the computer, but mostly a lot of times I listen to books on the Kindle. And that's it. That's my planner. And journal and little notebook system. And they're all different. Do I really need that many? No. But I will always have a planner and use it. My journal, I always have a journal, and I like that it's reusable. But it, well, sorry tripod got a little tipsy there but I always um I always have always have had a journal and I like just having this cover and it's just it's pretty and Josh bought it for me but I do like it better with these up here because those I use multiple times a day and they were ending up just being in a pile right here and that didn't you know that looked look messy this makes it look much neater neater and easier to put away. One thing I've learned is if it's easy to put away, it's uh, you, you're more apt to put it away and to keep putting it away. If it's a chore to, well, let me rephrase that. If it's easier to put away, I'm more apt to put it away. <laughs> if it's a chore to put away or I have to take something out or move stuff to put it away, it's probably not going to get put away for a while. It'll get put away when I'm feeling energetic. So there's our planners. And just because she rules this roost and the channel, I'll end with this. She definitely needs more of a presence in these videos than the little nap in the beginning. Her wings are cockeyed. <laughs>
if you don't count her legs and tail, she's just about the size of his shoes. <laughs> but I've got to give the boy credit. He doesn't seem the least bit embarrassed to be walking a tiny little cat with a purple leash and pink wings. <laughs> He's perfectly fine with it, and she loves it. Thanks for watching. Take care and toodles.